Good evening! I've been wanting to make YouTube videos for a while now and one of the ideas I had was a series called World of War Crafts where I craft World of Warcraft things. It's stupid but I'm excited about it and I love it so yeah, I'm gonna do that. When I was writing down listing ideas for this that I wanted to do I came up with the idea of doing a planner page for your achievements and I just I loved it so I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna teach you, tell you how to do your own. So yeah, this episode is gonna be kind of digital screeny, which isn't really what I pictured for the series, but you know, had to do this one first. Um, uh, other things to tell you um, were, all right, so I'm gonna try and tell you how to do this in the most efficient way possible, which is, of course, not the way I did it. <laughs> um, so when uh, I'm showing you the screens, uh, things might move around and change a bit, but what I'm telling you to do will probably be, be probably there. Probably be the best way <laughs> to do it the order of. See, I can't even structure sentences, so just imagine how something like this would be for me. I'm sure you can do it better, you probably can. <laughs> so, this is how it turned out to be. So, you have your goal, and then when you complete it, you colour in green. Uh, you colour taking green and then at the end of the year you can add up all the ones you got and fill in the points up at the top. <sighs> I'm so excited for this. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is it. I hope I hope someone out there watches this and I hope someone out there likes it because I'm so ex I, I, I like planners. I don't like World of Warcraft and I like crafting. <laughs> so, <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> On to the process of how to do it. Okay, so before we actually do get to the screen portion, it's nice to have a bit of a plan. Um, so start off, write down a list of what you want to do this year. And uh, you know, some people would say, that's it, that's all you need to do, there's a list. But no, where's the fun in that? It's not pretty or awesome, so, nah. And you know, now's a good time as well to take note of the measurements of your planner pages so it all fits the same size. And also mark out the borders that are on your page or margins whatever so that you know there's enough room for hole punches and it to kind of be centered if you want I'm fluffing this around okay right now on to the computer screen we go so you log on to World of Warcraft uh, bring the achievements window up uh, screen grab the whole achievements window and a close-up of all the boxes together and then a really tiny blurry shot of the green ticks uh, if you have a Mac, you can screen grab the specific area you want by holding Command Shift 4. Uh, this also may be the time to look through the achievement names and see if they're any relevant to your goals. Uh, I write down the ones I liked next to the goal when I made my little list, the handy dandy list. Now into Photoshop. After, you know, like getting distracted playing World of Warcraft for like five hours. After that, the next day, the next day. <laughs> Open the screenshot of the achievement boxes, uh, drag the little tab out and use the move tool to drag it into your canvas thing that you're going to do. Oh yeah, I should uh, explain. I am going to try and explain the basics of Photoshop, even though I don't think I'm the best person to learn the basics of Photoshop from. Um, I hope you do get it, but yeah, there, sorry. <laughs> okay, right, uh, just take one of the boxes and use the clone tool to remove the words on the box. To select an area to clone, you have to hold in the Alt key, and then make your selection and release the Alt key. And now wherever you go with the cursor, it'll be replaced with the cloned area. Um, and then, you know, you click on it, the bit that you want the other area to be, so it's cloned, so it's the same. Uh, yeah, be aware of the light and dark areas of the th when you're cloning so it all matches and you can use the smudge tool a bit so it helps blend it all together. So yeah, that's when I realised, oh yeah, I've done this once, I don't need to do it again. Uh, so I separated it from the screenshot, uh, I used the marquee tool and covered the whole box, I pressed Command X and then Command V and this pasted it onto a different layer. Um, and then I hid the old image and proceeded to duplicate the layer by selecting it and pressing Command J so I had enough that I wanted to match the amount of goals that I had. 
I still recommend uh, grabbing a whole load of boxes together rather than just one uh, when you go into World of Warcraft because it's nice to have something to look at. This is not the usual way to do margins but this is the way that I found easiest because I screwed up doing everything else. I went into view and then select rulers and I used the shape tool to draw out just some boxes <laughs> and then you draw the measurements that you want lining up against the ruler at the top. A line will appear so you can still see it. Um, and then to fix the length you just command T to get into the free transform tool and then move it down so it's the right length. Now you know what you can't go past, uh, go back to your folder of achievement boxes and then press command T on all of them or the group folder and then hold shift and then make it the right size to fit in. But when you're resizing it, don't make it so it completely goes from side to side because now you're going to draw another box that'll actually be a visible one that's printed uh, to put your little ticks in. And you know, just fiddle around with the layout, whatever you want. I did a couple of note sections because I don't have enough achievements or... I don't know. You, you do what you want. Yep. Oh my goodness, I spent absolutely ages trying to get the fonts right. Um, in the end I went for Futura Medium for the body and then the title bit is linked. So yeah, the, the body isn't a complete match. If you know the actual one then use that but I, I spent ages trying to do it by eye and I spent ages just researching it and yeah. Whew. Uh, I colour picked the colours from the screenshots I grabbed. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't tell you how to colour pick. So you go into the brush tool and then you click on the tiny square of colour down there and you drag the cursor of the colour you want to pick, um, just like that. You also want to play with drop shadows and strokes and just play around with that to get it to actually just match the achievements. Uh, you find those options in blending options which you can do by double clicking on the layer and it'll come up or a tiny little icon or other things. Yeah. So I know that my one wasn't exact but I spent ages playing with it until it kind of matched so just do it by eye. I wish I could tell you the settings that I used but they're all a bit different and strange and I don't really know what I did to be honest. <laughs> so good luck! Oh, other things to do now is um, I didn't actually have uh, like a, a reward something bit in the end but you can do the text with the same way, doing the yellows, and also for the box, uh, make sure there's the red bit at the bottom. That's a bit late to say in my notes. There you go. So the good news is once you've managed to make your text look the same way that you want, you only need to do it once. You just you type out your achievement title, and then you duplicate the layer, and you press the T tool, and on the other layer, you just Back, 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 and redo it, and just do that until you have all of them, and you know, move them down the boxes that you want, and then repeat with the body. Okay, we're close to picking out the icons. This was so much fun. First, remove the black parts of the boxes. I use the wand tool and simply click on the black, and then the delete key. So now head to wowhead.com/icons <laughs> and just look through them all. And oh my, I found the coolest one. It's a necklace. That has the scoop. It has the Scooby Doo thing on it. I thought that was awesome. <laughs> anyway, once you found it, save it, bring it into Photoshop, resize it, and make sure it's the layer underneath your boxes. Alright, and now the ticks, which are kind of tricky and time consuming and annoying to do. Uh, bring the screenshot in and make it the size you want. Uh, use the pen tool to draw around the tick, making sure it closes by clicking on the first dot you drew. There'll, there'll be a little circle. And then look for the path tab next to layers and then click stroke outline. Duplicate the layer to place a tick next to each box. And then merge all of those ticks together by right clicking, when selecting all of the layers, right click and merge together. Uh, okay, now this is a really annoying thing to do. <laughs> now use the wand tool to select the inside of a tick and then click on the background box layer and press delete and then repeat. Go back to 
your tick layer inside of the tick, go back to the background layer and then delete. Now it's finishing touches like background colours and maybe you want to fill around with layouts or more blending option things. Or you know, tidy up like pixelated sections, which is what I did. I went around with an eraser and just smoothed it all out. If something doesn't doesn't work on Photoshop, try these things. Hold on, I made a list, so excuse me. Check which layer you're working on. It might not be doing anything because there's nothing for it to select. Is the layer you're working on have something over the top that makes what you're doing underneath invisible? Is it being hidden? Try pressing Command D. This deselects something. Oh, and look for a tick at the top of the screen in the bar. It might be that you're still in trans free transform tool and you didn't go yet. So that's why you can't do anything there either. Okay, and now it's time to print and see where you went wrong, which for me was a lot of times. <laughs> Once it's printed out, you can use a fancy cutter machine thing. Uh, my fancy machine cutter thing was not there, so I used a weird one and I kind of got it wrong a couple of times. Now you take your actual planner page, you put it on top and then you can trace where the holes are and very carefully line it up with one things of your whole, pin, whole punch and keep on going. Or if you're lucky and you have one of those super fancy special hole punches, then I'm very jealous of you. So that's it. Uh, I hope everything was understood and I communicated properly and efficiently and words and <laughs> uh, I hope this video wasn't too long and uh, if you made it I hope you enjoy making it and if you do make it could you like add me, like not add me could you please like take a photo of it and tag me or something or comment and let me know because it would be amazing. Look at the final thing before I go. Ah, uh, here it is. I am so happy with it. It looks awesome. And then it's like, I oh know it's kind of funny with the names. All right. <laughs> okay, bye. Hopefully I will see you for another video soon. That is this. And you can see what other kind of videos I want to make. Yes, I do hope you stay and enjoy other World of Warcrafts and other videos of mine. Okay, bye again. How many times have I said goodbye now, honestly? Okay, bye, bye, bye.